One day we're gonna take a car out on the salt flats and drive like the wind. Salar de Uyuni, also known as the Uyuni Salt Flats in Bolivia, is a stunning location that is frequently referred to as the largest mirror in the world because of the reflective surface that forms when a small layer of water collects on its crystalline surface. As well as being well known for its scenic beauty and being a photographer's dream come true, this place has also been the focus of numerous reports of paranormal activity. From ghost sightings to encounters with unidentified flying objects, UFOs, Salar de Uyuni is located in southwest Bolivia and covers an area of over 10,000 square kilometers, which is over 3,900 square miles at an elevation of almost 12,000 feet above sea level. The Uyuni Salt Flax. A few meters of salt crust currently cover it, which was created as a result of changes between multiple ancient lakes. Approximately 70% of the lithium deposits in the world are found beneath this crust. The native populations that have inhabited the Andes for thousands of years are intricately entwined with the history of the salt flats. For a considerable amount of time, these native groups have revered the salt flats as a hallowed location with deep spiritual meaning. The economic significance of the salt flats lies in their ability to harvest salt and lithium. For millennia, the native Aymara people have been gathering salt from the flatlands. They made medicine and preserved food with salt. When Spanish conquistadors came to Bolivia in the 16th century, they started using the salt flats for their personal gain. In addition to using the salt to produce gunpowder, they constructed roads and railroads to carry it. Trains carried salt from the area to ports on the Pacific coast in the 1800s. Following the fall of mineral extraction in the early 1900s, Uyuni's primary industry shifted to tourism. We spent four days at a freaker festival in the salt flats. In the middle of the salt flats sits Isla Incahuasi, a hilly outlier and former island whose name means Inca House. Massive cacti, some of which are over a millennium old, blanket it. It bears witness to the area's prehistoric past when a sizable lake covered it. The island is a well-liked tourist destination because it provides sweeping vistas of the salt flats and an insight into the distinct ecosystem that survives in this hostile environment. The Inca moon goddess Pachamama, together with her partner the sun god, were rumored to have resided on Isla Incahuasi, according to local tradition. According to local mythology, the island served as the Aymara people's haven from foes. Legend has it that the departed Aymara's spirits still patrol the island in order to keep it safe. On Isla Incahuasi, visitors have claimed to have heard whispers and weeping while strolling alone. There are people who say they have taken pictures of ghostly entities on the island. So it's ghost now, is it? The Uyuni Salt Flats are the subject of numerous ghost stories. A well-known ghost story involving the Uyuni Salt Flats centers on a group of Spanish conquistadors, whom the native population allegedly cursed for overusing the area's resources. They came like ghosts in the dead of night. We never saw them. The enraged ghosts of the indigenous inhabitants compelled the conquistadors to retreat over the salt flats, according to folklore. The spirits opened the earth beneath their feet as they raced, engulfing them whole. Another well-known tale is that of the young woman who died a tragic death due to foul play. It's supposed that her spirit wanders the salt flats in pursuit of her missing beloved. A different tale describes a group of miners who got stuck in a cave-in. It is supposed that their ghosts roam the salt flats, calling out for assistance. Salar de Uyuni has many ghost stories connected to it. You see where I come from. Ghosts are not to be taken lightly. Witnesses claim to have seen spectral figures traversing the salt flats. These figures, which are frequently described as wearing vintage mining equipment, are thought to be the ghosts of those who perished in the region's severe climate or during the period when the area was heavily mined. There is another story of a ghost train, the remains of which are called the Train Cemetery and are located south of the salt flats. It is said that the haunting noises that are audible at night are the agonized cries of the souls of people who lost their lives while building and running the railway. The native populations surrounding Salar de Uyuni have a diverse range of beliefs about the afterlife. They frequently view the salt flats as a bridge between worlds and a place where the wall separating the living from the dead is at its thinnest. These convictions that the spirits of ancestors guard the land and a profound reverence for Pachamama or Mother Earth are the foundation of these beliefs. They think that both good and evil spirits reside in the salt flats. In addition, they think that the salt flats serve as a gateway to other dimensions. The Aymara believe that ancestral ghosts are responsible for a number of unexplained occurrences in the salt flats. 
They consider the entire area, including Isla Incahuasi, to be sacred land that belonged to their deceased loved ones. On the flatlands, Aymara shamans conduct spiritual rites in order to interact with these spirits. Oh God, what is it this time, another UFO? Over Salar de Uyuni, there have been reports of UFO sightings. The most convincing encounter took place over Isla Incahuasi. Witnesses have seen unidentified lights and oddly shaped craft hovering silently above the island before vanishing at unfathomable speeds. The large, clear skies and the flat's reflective surface are frequently cited as the reasons for these sightings, which may draw inquisitive extraterrestrial visitors. A huge, disc-shaped object was observed hovering above the salt flats close to the island by a group of tourists in 2004, which is one of the most well-known sightings. A dazzling glow was said to encircle the item as it disappeared into the sky after a few minutes. When one witness was alone on the island in 2015, they apparently noticed a UFO hovering over the cacti. The craft shot straight overhead and was gone in an instant. In addition to being a remarkable natural beauty, the Uyuni Salt Flats are a popular destination for those interested in the paranormal. Salar de Uyuni has an enigmatic charm that can be attributed to a variety of factors, including the eerie silence of the enormous salt desert, the ghost stories of former miners, the spiritual beliefs of the indigenous people living there, and the mysterious lights in the sky. There is no such thing as ghosts. Case closed. These stories continue to be an enduring part of the cultural fabric around this exceptional region of the world. Despite the fact that detractors may blame many of these tales on the remoteness and optical illusions inherent to the area. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe and like it. This will help us make more videos.